Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to our winter wellness series and we're back with more health tips from Dr. Zach for staying well this winter. And now we're gonna get into fitness. So we're gonna talk about that. And a lot of people during the holidays and winter season tend to stay inside or maybe are less active, which right this time of the year, sometimes we wanna hibernate and relax, but we also need to maintain our fitness to be staying well, to keep our immune system healthy and to be feeling good. So I know you have an amazing hack for maintaining fitness during the winter season as well as year round. So why don't you share your uh, your best fitness tip with us and then how we can kind of implement it. Awesome. Four minute workout has been an interesting phenomenon. It's kind of gone worldwide. It's the one thing that when I show up to lecture somewhere internationally or nationally, somebody always walks up before me before my talk now and while I'm putting my mic on or something like that and is like, do we get to do the four minute workout all together? <laughs> um, because people really, A, enjoy the workout for themselves, but it's one of the funnest things to do with other people because it looks mm -hmm. ridiculous on some level, which is a good just kind of disarming thing. That, why don't we move together as a public more mm -hmm. often? Yeah. And so it's a good kind of community builder. And it's a fun thing to do with the whole family sitting around Christmas afternoon, and you haven't moved and everybody's feeling lethargic and everything else. Get the kids up, everybody move a little bit, get your groove on and really uh, bring an in incredible health. So what is the four minute workout? The four minute workout I designed uh, about almost eight years ago now, I guess it was, but uh, a bunch of science had come out around this thing called nitric oxide. And uh, the, the guy who discovered nitric oxide in 1992 would go on to win the Nobel Prize for that discovery. So a very important molecule for human health. It turns out that it's really the only molecule that we make uh, in the human cells that would go into concert in, with this communication network that we call the redox chemistry. And if you know anything about the restore stuff we make, that's the, that's the redox kind of family made by the bacteria and fungi, and there's literally hundreds of millions of versions of that one made by the biome, whereas in the human side, we can just make this one tiny little nitrogen-based uh, molecule that's, that's good at doing this communication thing. And so it's the way in which you're gonna participate with the microbiome to create a healthy human body. And so the nitric oxide is made primarily in the lining of your blood vessels, and it's made and stored there until you run out of oxygen somewhere. And interestingly, that's the one thing we typically don't do in a week. Even if we go to the gym and we work out, we tend to work out without exhausting the oxygen level completely in the muscle. Mm. And so you need that anaerobic state in the muscle before you'll release the nitric oxide. So I designed this four minute workout. With that in mind, I need to move the muscle to the point of lack, lack of oxygen so it'll release the nitric oxide. And I wanna do it body wide, which is another thing we don't do. We go to the gym, we work mm -hmm. out arms one day, or we do our legs one day. We're told to like cycle these muscle groups. And so even at the gym, best case scenario, you've released nitric oxide from your biceps, your triceps, maybe your deltoids or something like that. And then you wait and it's a whole nother week before you get back to that muscle group. Mm -hmm. With a four minute workout, three times a day, you're gonna relieve the, the nitric oxide reservoir from 16 of your largest muscle groups in your body. 21 times a week, you're suddenly getting this, this stimulation. So what's the effect on biology? Nitric oxide, it turns out, is a huge mechanism for delivering oxygen. It's gonna dilate all the blood vessels and get the oxygen and nutrients that you need to build muscle, maintain lean muscle, and really rev up the metabolism as a whole. Inspire the liver to let go of fat, inspire the peripheral uh, fat cells to start to, to release their hold on the storage of fat uh, molecules so that they can be utilized effectively by the rest of the body. So uh, fuel usage is a huge one. Huge role in the immune system that's just starting to emerge. And so nitric oxide, we know, is gonna play an important role. And this time of year, while the upper respiratory infections are going crazy and everything else, this is your role of, uh, of really participating in strengthening the immune system through movement. Of course, when you do the four minute workout, not only is your, is your muscle breathing that oxygen in, you're breathing oxygen. So it's gonna raise your heart rate, it's gonna raise your respiratory rate, you're gonna open up the lungs, especially with the big movement over the head. No, none of our actions in the day require this, right? Everything is down or here now. We're on mm -hmm. countertops, we're on computers, we're not lifting up over top of the head. And so suddenly a four minute workout, you've got 12 minutes a day where you're getting full range of motion into your chest, into your shoulders, open up the lung. Most of us are just sipping air off the tops of our lungs and we never open up the base of our lung and that's of course where the pneumonia will hit. Mm -hmm. So you get pneumonia in the winter time is because you had collapsed airways in the lower respiratory system and you had a poor representation of microbiome into that environment. So pop open the bottom of the lungs, push the chest out, get the arms up over the head and feel that opening that, that's gonna happen. And what time of year could be better 
for opening your heart chakra <laughs> than the Christmas and the holidays that you might be celebrating. And so open up your chest, be vulnerable to those you love, and move with them. And so very, very exciting stuff to come out of that four minute workout for you. Mm, I love it. And there's no excuse, it's four minutes, right? We all have four minutes, can squeeze that in a few times a day, and it does feel so good. We do it here at the headquarters, and it is yeah. so fun to do it as a group too, to bring community together. And a great thing to do with your family and friends to get moving after that big holiday meal. Thanks, Dr. Zach, and we will link to the exact um, the routine so you can check that out and do it yourself. And if you want to learn more from Dr. Zach, go to IntrinsicHealthSeries.com. Thanks for watching.